What do you see as Brian Fletcher's main purpose at Fox League? Fletcher's main purpose. What do you think, Fletch? Hey, Fletch. Fletch. Just in his defence, he does try to help out a little bit. Actually, I was wondering if I could change it up a bit, because I've been watching a few games lately. <laughs> <laughs> and then Fletch said, he's been watching a few games. <laughs> Just take a long walk at night, and uh, that's when the magic happened. Zolta! Time to make a wish. Zolta, I wish to be the greatest rugby league analyst ever. But when the power went back on, that's when the whole place went to hell. So when you saw Fletch the day after the blackout, did he look any different? Well, you could say that. Oh, sorry, boys, a bit sore. Did a thousand sit-ups. How you going, Heidi? Are you well? Yeah, good. Good. Hey, hey, you lost a bit of weight, have you? No, mm. no. I'm still the same. Haven't lost anything. Good. You feeling OK, Fletch? Matthew, I'm feeling great. I'm uh, hoping I can bring something to the table. I've been doing a bit of research overnight, and I think the show needs some hard-hitting analysis. Right. Well, I mean, I presume you all, all you watched uh, the games over the weekend, every game? Why did you? I watched 640 glorious minutes of the greatest game of all. In fact, I watched 1,280 minutes because I watched every game twice. So how bad did this new obsession get? Oh, well, it got bad. Started to take him some places I never thought he'd go. Dark places. Evil places. Good evening and welcome to NRL 360 <laughs> Rugby League from every angle. I'm Ben Eichen together with Paul Kent from the Daily Telegraph. Hello, PK. Hi, Ben. We're also joined this evening by Rugby League's newest analyst, <laughs> Brian Fletcher. Ben, great to be here. Paul, great to be here. Brian, could you please give us some insight into what's happening at the Brisbane Broncos at the moment? Of course I can, Ben. What I've done here, I've just got some stats. <laughs> if you could just go to page 36, Annex A, so Fletch was essentially becoming another Michael Ennis. And he was like Michael Ennis, Cooper Cronk and Braithen Astral rolled into one. Jesus. Or three. Yeah, total knob job. <laughs> but I hear it got <laughs> Well, it got worse because once the bosses saw what Brian was all about, well, he was everywhere, like a rugby league virus. Time to welcome our expert panel, Gordon Tallis, Michael Ennis... On. And Brian Fletcher, our newest member yes. of the panel, I guess. I am so pumped for this game tonight. Cannot wait. You do know it's the Dragons and the Titans. I do, and I cannot wait. I'm joined by a couple of esteemed gentlemen. Steve Blocker Roach. Hey, Block. Hey, you go, Matty. And uh, Fox League's number one football analyst. Some would say the game's greatest ever thinker, Brian Fletcher. Matthew, Stephen. I'm in order. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you, Fletcher. Let's cross out to the ground now, where our Fox League expert, Brian Fletcher, is standing by. Yeah, thank you very much, Jess. I am so excited to be here. The atmosphere in the stadium behind me is electric. And replacing Nathan Hindmarsh, it's a warm welcome to our new panellist, Brian Fletcher. Hannah, it is so good to be here. I'm super excited to be here, especially with Kevy, the Origin coach. Now, uh, if you will, Kyle Felt. So when did Fletcher's walkout actually happen on your show? Ah, uh, the walkout. Uh, it happened about two weeks after he took Hindy's job as football expert on the Sunday <laughs> ticket. Matty Cleary's really found his groove. I think they're definitely a top eight side. I'll definitely say it's feasible, that's for sure. Yeah. Sorry, mate, we keeping you awake? No, you're right. That's sure. Right. There's not somewhere you'd rather be. You know what? I, I can't take it anymore. There, there, there is. I, I'm done. Right. I, I'm sick to death of just hearing about dick and fart jokes. <laughs> I don't know why people watch this shit. Well, go on. I'm going. I'm done. I'll tell you what, say one more thing and it'll make me swear. You're a hack, Johns. I'll go f*** yourself, Brian. <laughs> Hindy, it's going to be fine. I've already worked out the replacement. <laughs> oh, mate, it's all right. <laughs> you, you've got great eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll go to a, we'll go to a break and uh, after the break, <laughs> we'll... Uh, we're f So this was the moment that Fletch and Hindy got pulled into the office? Yeah, it was. It was a tough day, especially for Nathan. Thanks for joining us, boys. Listen, um, this morning the bosses upstairs, uh, your bosses, my equals, uh, they've made a decision. <laughs> Fletch, they're going to take you off all the comedy stuff. What? Mm. It, I mean, you can't do that. We're a team. <laughs> what, Laurel and Lardy? Good call. No. Good call. They reckon that uh, the comedy stuff is bad for his image. Oh, God. That's horseshit. And guess what, bros, huh? They're going to give you your own show. <laughs> what? Excellent, Matthew. Could I have any input into the naming of this show? No. That'll be my decision. I'm guessing Hindy was pretty pissed off by this entire thing. 
you could say that. Mate, this whole thing is f***ing bullshit. I know it is, Heidi, I know. Mate, and Fletcher's show, it's f***ing awful. I mean, like, like, Queensland is only awful. Thank you, and that's all we have time for tonight on NRL 720, the <laughs> rugby league from every angle twice. And don't forget, Friday, the first ever episode of NRL 1440, rugby league from every angle four times. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I know what you're talking about. What can I do, mate? I've got an idea. Is that a dressing gown? No. It's a trench coat. <laughs> Bought it yesterday, Gucci. $29.95. So what did Hindy do? Well, Hindy sent out a uh, spy to find out where Fletcher's sudden genius came from. It's easy. All you got to do is go in, see Fletch, and ask him where he got his newfound knowledge from. All right, all right, but he's not going to be able to see the camera, is it all right? What, that thing? No way, mate. That is the newest of new spy technology. He won't notice a thing. This is spy technology? Spy technology. Yes, yes. Always wanted to be a spy. Testing, testing. <laughs> I said, oh, Fletch. Hello, Good Stephen Menzies. How are you? How are you? Very well. Long time no speak. Mm, what it's you been, been a while. I've just been super impressed with your commentary. It's been vast, knowledgeable. Just can't help notice. It's come on rapidly. Like, is there a reason? All right. I'm going to tell you something. You promised not to tell anyone. You're a trusted friend of mine. OK? All right, so it all started a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. So years. Fletch told Beaver everything. Yeah, the whole sort of story. The Zoltar, the Wish, Heidi's missing penis, a whole box and dice, you could say. So what did Heidi do then? Well, he knew Fletch would never voluntarily change himself back to his old self. So Heidi had to come up with a very simple idea to basically force Brian's hand. Let me guess, it involved Nathan breaking in somewhere under the cover of darkness. Bingo. <laughs> yes. What have I got here? Yes, Vanita. <laughs> rosters, rosters. Come on, rosters. Why was Nathan searching for the rosters? Because I only knew there was one sure way of ruining Brian's new love of rugby league, shall we say. OK, let's see what we've got. Ah! The new rosters are in. So what did Heine do? Well, Heine made sure Fletch was on the, well, on the one show that he'd never want to do. What? I want the fiddlesticks! <laughs> oh, Super Saturday, Super Saturday, 20th, 27th. That's every flipping week! <laughs> Rob? Yeah, Chief Analyst Brian. I hope this is some sort of sick joke. Of course I know I'm a genius! But I'm not some sort of weirdo freak! I'm coming up now. Super bloody Saturday! <laughs> Rob! So Fletch decided that being a rugby league moron was better than being on Super Saturday. Yeah, he did. And uh, I don't blame him. So in the end, he was back in the fold. Yeah, he was. Don't be afraid to tell some smoothie stories. Right, we can be polarising, but people love it. And you, Brian, I can... Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sorry. you got anything for us? Yeah? Uh... <laughs> Hey boys, he's back. Is that smoke on the water? Yeah. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> there we go. Well done, boys. That was well, good. Yeah, what?